Hey everybody, this is Ryan. Welcome back to the investing channel. I'm going to jump into another trade. Everything's been going red and just dropping like it's hot, but I'm going to jump into a trade. I'm going to jump into SLP USDT. Um, so uh, I'm going to share with you guys my entry point, my exit point. Um, I'm going to look at the indicators and then I'm going to calculate out what my profit is. I'm hoping to get around 7% on it. Um, so if you guys are into crypto and you want to follow me on my journey, please subscribe to the channel, smack the notification bell so it pops up, and then uh, let me know that along the way that you guys like the video, okay? So we'll go ahead and we will get started. Um, okay, let me share my screen with you. Share. Okay, here we go. SLP, I'm in trading view right now. And look at that, just, just a big dump right there. Um, but here's what I'm thinking. The last couple of days, it's been a red day, right? But look at all of a sudden, end of Friday, a lot of greens popping up. Look at all the greens. Look at that. So my hope is by tomorrow or and over the weekend, look at all those greens, um, things will be turning around. Okay. Now, just because it's green doesn't mean that it's going to stay green all weekend. But I've noticed that uh, oftentimes at the end of the week, you hit some red days and then on the weekend you hit some greens. And so I'm going to look at the, I'm going to look at the indicators now and I'll let you guys know why I'm jumping into this trade. At first you're going to go, what? that doesn't look like I should do it. You're saying I shouldn't do it when I see this, but there's other reasons for this. Okay. So Ichimoku cloud, Ichimoku right here. It's below the cloud is everything is just going down and it's below the red cloud, right? but we have green. That's one of the reasons why I'm seeing some hope. Um, tomorrow morning, it could be red again, okay? But I'm not too worried, and let me share with you guys why I'm not that worried in just a moment, okay? So MACD, uh, let's see here, did this? Nope, last indicator was a downward trend, so I'm not seeing too much on it right now. Looks kind of it's leveling out right now. Um, let's go look at multiple SMA, we're still, the yellow line still below the purple. Uh, it's been that way since November 16th. Okay, but you know, it's squeezing, it's getting tighter. That's good. And then RSI, you can see here a couple of times it's dropped below the 30, came back up, dropped below the 30, came back up, dropped, came back up. And it's kind of wiggling down here. I hope it's going to come back up. And then I, what I want to do is I want to ride this while it's on its way back up to the 50. Okay. May not happen tonight, may not happen in the next couple of days, but you know from history, it's going to come back up to there, okay? And it's not an exact correlation with, you know, the chart up above, but it's an indication when things, what happens, things come down, they come back up. Um, okay, so let's look at Bitcoin real quick. Remember, a lot of this stuff is happening because of Bitcoin. Everything's been going down. Don't blame it on BNX, like some of you guys have been putting on your on your comments. Um, I appreciate your comments. Um, if any of you guys are in coins right now and you're like, hey, could you do a video on, on the coin that I'm in and let, let me know what you see? I'd be happy to. Just add it in the comments below, okay? Um, what you're in, how much you're in for, uh, well, you know, what, what at what point you buy and at what point you're thinking of selling or hoping to sell. Um, BTC. You can see here, I was doing a video last night, putting it together for Evergrande and, um, and Bitcoin and USDT and how they interrelate and why all this dropping has been probably going on, could be of going on, but I didn't finish it yet. I'm still working on it. Um, but you see, I, I, I drew these support levels last night and it hit, it hit today. It hit that level and now it's on its way back up. So I, that's my hope. Things are coming around. Okay, let me go back down here to SLP. Okay, so let me share with you guys that are new to watching my channel something. This is another indicator that I use. And let me uh, go out a little bit here. Move it around so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, so typically, if you've watched any of my prior videos, and I have a bunch of them, you've got these bases here. And when these bases get cracked, more often than not, 
they swoop back up and they come back. You might have to wait a little bit of time, but you got to be patient. Patient, Daniel son. Okay. So over here, let me stretch it out. Okay. It broke a base. It came back up. It broke a base, came back up. It broke a base. And then ultimately it came back up. Um, it broke a base right here, came back up over here, but it also cleared this base and it also cleared this one. So if you forgot to sell over here, you had another opportunity over here. Um, broke a base, went down a bunch of levels and then came back up. Broke a base, went down all the way down through all the levels, came back up. Uh, broke, came back up. Broke, I should make a song. Broke, came back up. Um, broke, came back up. Broke again, came back up. Broke, came back up. Over here, broke. And then just kind of kept going down. But this, even though it feels long and uh, it looks big, it's it's like the other ones, okay? It's bigger than the other ones, but you know it comes back up. It's just a longer hold since August, it broke. So my hope is that ultimately it's gonna get back here. I don't know when, might take a while. Could, could happen at the end of the year, I don't know. Uh, but you can see from all the other ones, which is probably like 12 or 13 of them, um, it came up fairly quick. So when you have these long ones, you just gotta wait. You gotta, what you gotta do is you gotta have a stack of money. You're trading on all those prior ones over here. And then when you get a big monster like this, then you go, okay, I'm pushing that money aside. I'm grab, jumping into my next deck. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy all throughout here. I'm going to buy down through here, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. And you're buying all the way down. And then what you're going to do is as it starts to come back up, you're selling a little bit here, you're selling a little bit here, a little bit here. And ultimately, you know, you make profit. So that's what they're hoping on. That's what, uh, you know, these, the stock market, um, crypto, these whales come in and they just dump everything and everything drops and it affects everybody. Everyone freaks out and they sell. And then what happens? As soon as you sell, it comes back. It comes back up. I can't tell you how often times I think like I sell, I'm like, oh my God, I got to get out of this. I sell. And it's almost like somebody had a camera on me and they go, all right, Ryan sold. Let's turn it around because within like 24 hours, it goes back up. And then I'm like, oh, should I chase it? Like it goes back up while I'm sleeping. And then I have to jump in, at, you know, when, when the RSI is all the way up here around the 70. Okay, so let me share with you some more. So let's look at these smaller bases. These are tinier ones. Okay, it broke it. It came back up. It came down here. It broke it. It almost came back up right there, but it didn't. Close, but no cigar. It dropped, came back up, dropped, came back up. Uh, broke, came back up right there. Broke, came back up. Broke, came back up. Uh, broke, came back up. Broke, came back up. Broke, came back up. Broke, almost came back up. Broke, almost came back up. And then broke, almost came back up. Broke, came back up. So you can see. So what's the safe way to do this? What you want to do is you want to, you don't want to wait for it to come all the way back up to 0 0.0272. What you want to do is you want to come in a little bit under that, okay? So what my hope is to jump in here, right around here, and I might end up selling, you know, somewhere in the uh, point. I don't know, point, let me write this down, point zero one nine five, And then I'll come out around, I don't know, I'm gonna come down a little bit more. And it doesn't look like it's gonna be that much money, okay? But let's look. Okay, I'm just gonna come in. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go for something, you know, I'll just go in like point zero two oh nine or something. 210.0210, somewhere in there. Okay, so let's go calculate it here. This is my spreadsheet. If you oh, if you guys don't have a spreadsheet, you really need to get one. You need to create one because you need to track all your trades. You need to know when your entry point is, when your exit point is, and know what your profit's going to be. Um, because it's a lot easier to be able to find deals that you're in and know exactly 
uh, what you went in at. So I did a video on this, go into my library, and I did it recently within like the last week, week and a half. And you guys, I show you guys how I created it. Um, so let me copy this. this, is what I do. I come in here, I copy, I paste, I change that. Today's the seventh. I'm gonna do a SLP. Um, I'm gonna jump in, what I'm gonna jump in, 0 0.0195. I'm gonna sell it like 0 0.0210. I'll just go under two, nine. Um, and then I'm gonna do roughly, this is the total amount invested, but. I'm going to do more than that. I'm going to do like a thousand. So let's do, uh, so I want to do, let's do 9,000. See what happens. I got it to go a lot more. I'll do 50,000. 975. Do 51,000. Okay. I'll just go with that. So roughly just under a thousand. So when this hits, I'll make 7140 off a thousand, thousand dollars. I'll make 7% of my money. That's huge because a lot of people are out there and they're like, I'm going to make 2%. So if you put $100 down and you make $2, it's nothing. And oftentimes you might have to sit there and wait for weeks for it to make $2. So I'm making seven. And look at these other ones, I'm making four, 11, nine, 10, nine, seven, five, eight. I'm just waiting for these ones to clear. So I'm not worried. Just giving it time, letting it marinate, and uh, it'll come. I know some of you guys have been uh, messaging me, and you've been like, oh, my God, my money's halfway. Don't worry. Remember, it goes down, comes back up, okay? And more often than not, comes back up. So if you had 10 trades, nine of them took profit, and one of them didn't, well, you're going to be ahead of the game anyway, right? You're 90% profitable. You can't get that with stocks. Uh, you can't do that. Only the guys that uh, are really masters are up in like the 75, 80 range. So um, remember, this is not advice. Um, do your own research. This is just my journey. So if you guys found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up right down there in the middle. And then uh, join, subscribe, smack the notification bell. Um, I'll be creating more videos when I take profit on these. And as I jump into more trades, I will let you guys know my entry, my exit, and uh, you guys can watch and enjoy. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. And um, I will be putting more videos together soon. All right. Bye-bye.